Hello students, this is VP Kausalya, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, Vavu Vajiha Women's College, Koyal Patnam. Students, today we are going to see about software process model. Software process model defines the order of activities in which the software development should take place and also it establishes a transition criteria that is from which phase we have to start our development model and in which phase we have to end our model and when to move from one phase to all other phase. All these uh, details are provided by the software process model. Uh, today in this video we are going to see about five software process model. The five main important software process model we are going to see today are linear sequential model, prototype model, rapid application development model, incremental model and bone spiral model. All these five models today we are going to see are used to develop a software product. The first model we are going to see is linear sequential model which is also called as classic life cycle model or waterfall model okay here in this waterfall model or a linear sequential model uh, the phases moves in a sequential manner and once the phase is completed we can't able to repeat the same phase this is the main thing in this model the steps involved in this model are requirement analysis software design code generation and testing uh, this model is considered to be very efficient and it is also very simple to implement and manage and one of the main drawback of this model is it can't able to accommodate changes at later stage the next model we are going to see is prototype model uh, in this prototype model we are not sure about our requirements so here the prototype we develop at the initial stage uh, serves as a mechanism for identifying our software requirements how it identifies our software requirements uh, it's uh, rec uh, it's identified by the prototype the devel uh, the prototype which we developed mm -hmm. uh, the prototype is evaluated by the customer and is used to, to refine the requirements for the software to be developed here the prototype model consists of two main approaches that is rapid throwaway prototyping and is evolutionary prototyping in this rapid throwaway prototyping uh, a prototype is developed from an outline specification which is then delivered for experimentation and then modified according to the customer feedback uh, the specification is then derived from the prototype and the system is implemented Mm, then in uh, evolutionary prototyping uh, the model starts with those requirements which are best understood and using this specification the prototype is built uh, once the prototype is built uh, development is completed and then it is checked for customer certificate satisfaction uh, if it meets the user requirements the prototype based system we develop meets the user requirements then it is developed to the customer otherwise the new prototype is again developed and the whole cycle is repeated until it reaches the customer needs next model we are going to discuss is rapid application development model uh, which is also shortly known as rad model a rad model is proposed when requirements and solutions can be modeled as independent system or software components this model is achieved by component based construction so here fully a functional system is developed within a very short time uh, period since the requirements are well understood and the uh, softwares are developed by the different teams after this the small components which are developed by different teams are integrated to produce a lot software system solution so the rad model becomes very faster uh, and it also finished within a very short period of time and the components which are uh, available can be used for uh, used again and again uh, here you can able to see the diagram for Di diagrammatic representation for rad model which consists of modeling phases such as business modeling data modeling and process modeling mm -hmm. at last you can able to see uh, the whole integration of smaller software components developed by the uh, different development teams okay the next model we are going to see is the incremental model uh, incremental model is the process of software development uh, where the requirements are divided into multiple standalone modules of the software development life cycle. Okay, the incremental model combines the elements of linear sequential model along with the iterative philosophy of prototyping. Uh, for example, uh, 
consider if we develop a software product and in future uh, if you add some features to already developed software product then here the incremental model is produced um, that is each model goes through the requirements implementation design and testing phases uh, when an incremental model is used the first increment we add is considered to be the core product and this core product uh, is delivered to the customer uh, every subsequent release of the module adds function to the previous release and then the, uh, the process continues until the complete system is received that is uh, once the core products is delivered to the customer and then the customer uses it and tells which additional features are required to required to be added to it to develop the complete product okay when we will use this incremental model we will use this incremental model when the requirements are superior or else a project has a lengthy developmental schedule okay next we are going to see about bohem's spiral model uh, the spiral model is a combination of sequential and prototype models it is called spiral because at the end of each phase a complete version of the product is produced and this model is well suited for large products which involves continuous enhance enhancements uh, that is once uh, a complete version is version of the product is produced at the end of each phase which is further enhanced at the next phase as a spiral. Uh, uh, then the diagrammatic representation of the spiral model consists of uh, four task regions. Uh, here as the evolutionary process begins um, at the first phase, uh, the software engineering team moves around the spiral in the clockwise direction uh, beginning at the center. Uh, first spiral is used to develop the prototype and progressively more sophisticated versions of the software are developed. By this we have reached the end of the software process models. Uh, thanks for watching the video.